I'm one of the medical students here in the GP clinic and today the doctor has just sent me to do a diabetes exam on you so I'll be having a look um, in your hands, um, on your face, um, in your abdomen as well as your lower limbs um, just to see if there's any um, sort of signs of diabetes or its complications. Um, everything that we discussed today will remain confidential between you, me and the treating team and for the examination I'll just need you to expose your abdomen as well as your lower limbs. Now is that okay with you? Yeah. Yep, so can I just confirm your full name? Sure, uh, Charlie Leone. Yep, and your date of birth? The 21st of January 2000. Yep, and how old are you? I'm 21. Yep, and your occupation? I'm a student. Yep, and are you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? No. Okay, great, so we'll get started, that's okay. Just having a general inspection of the patient, so no signs of abnormal body habitus, no hirsutism or any acne, no signs of uh, Cushing syndrome or any acanthosis nigricans or any hemochromatosis and I don't see any signs of acromegaly either. So now I'll just measure your hip as well as your waist circumference. So first, I'm just going on the smallest part, so can I get you to just hold that right there and then go around. Yep, so 60 centimetres, no signs of abdominal obesity, I'm going to go around the waist, which is the largest part. Yep, yep so that's 84 centimetres, um, and I would find out the waist-hip ratio from there as well. Um, and I would also get your weight as well as your height um, to calculate your BMI um, and get your vital signs as well. So that includes the blood pressure, um, which is really important in this case. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to get you to um, walk to see if there's any abnormalities with your gait. So can I get you to walk from here all the way to the end of the bed and back? Yeah. Alrighty, yep, so no abnormalities in gait and no walking aids used as well, which is good. Alrighty, so now we're just going to have a look at the lower limbs. So first, having a look at the lower limbs, no signs of deformities, no redness, rashes, or any swellings, or any scars anywhere. Um, posture seems good, ace, no signs of asymmetry, and looking in between the toes, yep, looking in between the toes, no signs of fungal infections, which is good, looking underneath the feet as well. And then here, no signs of edema, no signs of charco joints, or any um, ulcers as well, no varicose veins, which is good. Having a feel around the leg, yep. So no cold peripheries, that would suggest peripheral vascular disease. Um, and no signs of necroviruses. Alrighty, so now we're just going to feel um, for some important landmarks in the lower limbs. So first, having a look at cap refill. Yep, so that's good perfusion. Gonna feel for the peripheral pulses or the dorsalis pedis, and then the posterior tibial. Great, and then the popliteal. Yep, and the other side. Yep, great. And I would also feel for the femoral pulse, but that's not required in this um, examination. So now we're gonna do the birthers test, which tests for peripheral vascular disease. Mm -hmm. um, so first I'm just gonna elevate your legs. So I'll start with this one. We'll leave it there for a while. Just let the blood drain down. Okay, great. And now can I just get you to swing both of your legs towards there? Yep, great. Just gonna see if there's any color changes and there's no color changes. And I would, I would repeat on the other side as well, um, mm -hmm. but I see that you have no signs of peripheral vascular disease. Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna test for vibration. So I'm just gonna use this tuning fork. And can you feel that right there? Yeah. Great, and can I just get you to close your eyes and mm -hmm. um, tell me when you feel the tuning fork on your feet? Yeah. 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 Okay, great. And I would repeat that on the other side as well. So using this monofilament, which I have in my pocket. Um, so can you feel that right there? Yeah. Great. So um, I'm just going to touch again various parts of your feet. And can you tell me when you feel it? Yeah. So close your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And 
Was it the same on both sides? Yes. Same as your chin? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So no signs of um, neurological disease. Yep, so now I'm just going to check your reflexes. Um, so first, I'm going to check for the ankle reflex. Yep. Great, so I'm going to feel for check for the Bobinski as well. So a bit of a tickle. Yep. No signs of upgoing. Yep, and no signs of upgoing um, plantar reflexes, which is good. And now we're just going to check for proprioception. Um, so this is where we test for the ability um, to feel um, for where your body is in space. So can I just get you to, so I'm going to move your toes up or down. Mm -hmm. And can I just get you to let me know whether I move it up or down? So sure. close your eyes. Up or down? Up. Up or down? Down. Up or down? Down. Great. And on the other side, up or down? Up. Up or down? Down. Up or down? Down. Okay, great. So you can open your eyes now. So now moving on to the arms and the hands. So we will check for blood pressure, um, lying and standing for any postural drops, as well as any abnormalities in your respirator as well. Um, and then checking for the uh, radial pulses. Yep, nice and strong. No signs of peripheral vascular disease and just having a feel for any abnormal temperature, so not no cold peripheries either, and I can see that it's well perfused. And now just checking the cap refill. Yep, so that's normal. And checking the skin turgor for any dehydration. And looking at any signs of skin lesions, and there's no abnormalities there, so that's good. Alrighty, so now we're just going to check your eyesight, if that's okay. okay. So this is a three meter chart, so we're going to go one, two, three. Yep, great. And now can I just get you to cover one of your eyes for me? Yeah. yeah. And can I get you to read the lowest line that you can see? Yeah. Um, D X F P H T A Z. Yeah, great. And on the other side, can I get you to uncover that and cover the other eye? And yeah. can I get you to read backwards? Um, Z A T H P F X D. Yeah, so that's six on five for both um, eyes. And can I get you to um, read the lowest line that you can read uh, with both of your eyes? Yeah. Um, D X F P H T A Z. Yep, so that's six on five, which is good. So now I'm just going to check your visual fields, if that's okay. So can I just get you to um, stand facing me? And can I get you to stare right into my nose and cover mm -hmm. one of your eyes? Can I get yeah. you that, that one? And so I'm just going to move my hand from different parts of the visual field. And can I get you to tell me when you first see my hand? So sure. Yeah. 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 Yep, great. Now I'm going to repeat on the other side. Sure. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. And now can I just get you to follow my finger with your eyes without moving your head? Yep. Great. So eye movement's normal as well. And I'm, gonna, I'm also going to check your life reflex. Mm. So I'm just looking to my nose. Yeah. We're going to check both sides. Yeah, okay, great. So, uh, light reflexes appreciated, both direct and consensual, and um, no signs of afferent papillary defects, which is good. And now I'm just going to check for accommodation. So, this is your ability of your eyes to sort of adjust to near objects. So, um, can I get you to have a um, look at that purple piece of paper there with yeah. your eyes? Yeah, over my shoulder. And now can I get you to look at my finger? Yeah, great. So I can see your pupils contracting, um, which means that it's normal accommodation, which is good. And have you had your, your optometrist reviewed yet? No. No? Okay, good to get that done um, because we want to watch that in diabetes. Um, and I would also do a fundoscopy as well to check for any signs of retinopathy, any um, proliferative as well as non-proliferative retinopathy, and I would also check for any cataracts as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a look inside your mouth, if that's okay. So mm -hmm. can I just get you to say, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, uh, yeah, so good dentition, yep, yeah. um, no signs of oral thrush and no signs of ketone breath, which is good. Now I'm just going to have a look at the neck, if that's okay. So I'm just going to get this to 45 yeah, and can I just get you to lie down if that's okay? Alrighty, so now we're just going to um, examine the carotids, um, which is an artery that goes inside your neck. So first I'm just going to have a listen to see if there's any bruises that I can hear with the bell of my stethoscope. Can I get you to breathe 
in and hold. Just check the outside. Yep, so no signs of bruise. You can breathe normally now. I'm just going to have a feel as well. Yeah, so carotid pulse is normal, and I'm just going to have a look to see um, your JVP as well. So can I just get you to turn and face that way? I'm just looking for a pulse in your neck, and yep, I can see that. And I can approximate that it's um, less than three centimeters, um, which is normal. And just, you can, yep, turn back normally. Now I'm just gonna have a feel mm. um, for any thickening of the skin around the neck as well as the lower back. So have you felt that lately? No. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a feel of the apex beat, which is a beat in your chest that we can feel. So, and it's usually here. Yep. And now I'm just going to check that it's in the right spot. So that's the mid clavicular line and fifth intervossal space. So that's two, three, or five. Yep, so that's in the right spot, which is good. I'm also going to have a listen of the heart, if that's okay. Sure. Um, so can I just get you to yep, sit forward and just relax. Great, and I'm just going to have a listen of the lungs as well. Can I get you to breathe in and out through your through your mouth? Great, and in. Great, and in. Great. Yeah. And can I just get you to turn over so I can have a listen of the back? Is that okay. Thank you. So can I get you to cross your arms in front of you and breathe in? And out, and in, out, great, and in, out, and in, out, and in, out. Last one, in, and out, okay, great. So lungs are here, um, heart sounds, dual, no murmurs either, and the apex beat is in the right spot, which is good. Okay, so now I'm just going to have a look at your abdomen. So having a look, no signs of stretch marks or any um, abdominal um, obesity, no signs of skin hypertrophy or any injection sites. Um, and now I'm just going to have a feel for the liver and the spleen, if that's okay. Sure. So can I get you to take a deep breath in? And out, great, and in. And out, and in. And out, and in. And out. Alrighty, so now checking for the spleen. So can I get you to breathe in? And out, and in, and out, and in, and out, and last one in, and out. Okay, so no signs of splenomegaly or hepatomegaly, which is good. Now I'm just going to have a feel of the abdominal aorta to see if there's any aneurysms. Yeah. So no signs of abdominal aneurysms. And now I'm just going to have a listen um, for any renal bruise. Okay, great. So no signs of renal bruise, which is good. I would also do an ankle um, brachial index as well as a urine dipstick um, and a bedside blood sugar level um, as well as a HbA1c and check your lipid levels um, for your cardiovascular risk assessment. Um, and so thank you for your time. Um, that concludes the end of our examination. Um, I'll report the findings to the GP and um, we'll have a discussion and we'll come back with the results.